Today we're talking about this guy right here. We're talking about the Zephyr Buddha by Vapor's Cloud. Hey, what's going on YouTube? How's everybody today? Happy Monday to you. This is actually being recorded, uh, a little bit early I had a little chance to get something in here so uh, yeah so what are we going to talk about today today we're going to talk about this guy right here this is the Buddha big Buddha whatever you want to call it the Zephyr Buddha is what I'm being told that it is um, by vapors cloud so let's have a toad on it will we Massive cloud production on this thing, guys. Right now, I've got this thing running way too airy for me. Let me cut some of that down. Let's try it again. Yeah, see, that's much better. Much better. Could be a little tighter. And this thing's got airflow for miles. Um, this is definitely a cloud chaser's Addy. Um, this thing's huge, man. It's, it's just, it's a monster. Clouds, bitch, clouds. Clouds for days, man. Uh, good little Addy here. Um, yeah, nice. I like it. It's got decent flavor for a cloud chasing Addy. Uh, take a little closer look at it here. As you can see, you got the Buddha sitting up front here. Massive, massive air holes there at the side. Couple air holes there at the bottom, I'm assuming. Um, and uh, more air holes on that side. Nice Zephyr logo on it. Um, wide board Delrin, chuff cap style. Um, it's a good little Addy. Um, I like it. I got this actually in a clearance bin in a brick and mortar store. Uh, just how you see it. Didn't come in a box. Um, so I couldn't tell you if the actual new one from a vendor comes with a box. I don't know. Mine came with some extra clouds. Or not clouds. Shit, I'm an idiot. Some extra O-rings and stuff. Um, but there you see uh, Vapor's Cloud on the bottom. The serial number uh, protruding 510 pin it looks to be adjustable um, you could probably put that on your uh, hybrid mods if I can get this thing screwed back on I'll uh, pull it off here and uh, what I've got in here right now I've got this build right here it's a 0 0.13 alien build um, a nice alien build there. Um, big, uh, big deck on this thing, man. It's a thirty mil of a uh, thirty mil atomizer. Uh, nice, big, open flow there to it. Um, it's crazy. It really is. It's pretty crazy. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's Cloud Chaser's dream, man. What else you want? Um, this thing is nice. Puts out the vapor. Uh, right now I'm running this thing at 110 watts and we'll fire it one time for you. And, uh, oh yeah. Pissed off. She's angry again. So, it's doing a good job on it. Um, I did not make, uh, this coil. I bought this coil pre-made, um, at a local brick and mortar store. You can get these coils if you, if you're skilled you can make this wire make your own coils uh this is one two three it's five wraps looks to be over a three millimeter uh, pin uh it's doing a good job it's doing a good job um 
let's talk about this airflow here for a minute. Um, it's going to be hard for me to do this on camera because I don't have anywhere to sit this thing down really. There we go. Uh, so basically this is what it is. It comes apart and there you have your uh, outer barrel sleeve there. Um, to me it's a little thin. Um, you squeeze it a little bit you can feel it like it wants to give maybe a little bit. I'm not sure if that's actually what would happen but it just it doesn't feel real substantial to me um, and here you have your airflow control um, your, you know, it's a standard airflow control it's um, there it is there spin it and it closes them down opens them up uh, these points here are kind of sharp so be careful with the blades on that um, I really like this atomizer man I really do um, this is press fit into here into that chub cap I don't believe you can take it apart any more than that uh, I wouldn't try because it just seems to me that it wouldn't work out very well for you um, but yeah you set it on there uh, let it go and um, clouds for days um, the uh, airflow holes go right in front of the coils there so you set it up uh, I'm not sure if those little holes there that run even with the post is an airflow or if that's just a hole to line it up with it does have there's three of them on each side there uh, two on that side you might not be able to see them there two right there where the Buddha is at what I do is I just I take it and I line it up with that air hole and uh, just you know put it so one of them are showing um, um, yeah it's a good little good little deal here yeah I like it a lot uh, I really do nice big deep juice well on this I'm gonna put a little more e-liquid paint some e liquid on these coils um, get them nice and wet I want to crank this up a little bit got this on the Segeli right now um, like I said I got it at 110 watts let me crank it up to 130 watts and let's just let's see what it does right 130 watts 0 0.13 ohms on that alien build let's give it a shot running good man it's clouds 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 for days um, flavor on this is just a touch muted in my opinion um, but it is what it is I mean it's it's for clouds right so let's close this airflow almost all the way off I've got maybe two holes open on this flavor does improve when you close that off um, let's try to close that secondary off. I mean, as you can see, this thing is just clouds for days. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. This is probably one of my favorite uh, RDAs. Uh, and the reason's obvious. Uh, I've got both windows down in the truck. I've got vapor pouring out of both windows, and it's still vapey as fuck up in this truck. Uh, I like it. I really do. Um, let's uh, get the tablet out here and uh, see if we can do some Google foo, as Graham Green would call it. See if we can find out how much this thing is going to cost us here. Um, let's see here. Uh, give me just a minute and uh, we'll find it for you I'm not sure if this is the version 1 or the version 2 
I have heard that they do have a version 2 out. Um, but, like I said, this is the version... Uh, I think it's the version 1. I don't believe this is the version 2. Um, directly from Vapor's Cloud website. Let's take a look at it here. Um, uh, they've got, Vapor's Cloud says that they're, they're calling it the Buddha Z. Z must stand for Zephyr. Okay, so we're going to assume that's the one. Uh, I see a version 2. Let's see. Come on. I'm not seeing. There it is. Zephyr Buddha version 1. Nope, that's just the cap. Alright, so what we have is the version 2 is what they have on the website. Um, I don't think I have the version 2. I really firmly believe that I have the version 1. Uh, only because it looks like the version 2 has a removable chuff cap and this does not. I don't know that that is indeed the case. However, Vapor's Cloud website has it for $59.99 uh, and like I said, I don't know if that is indeed uh, what I have or not. Like I said, it didn't come in a box. I can't tell you that. I don't know. Uh, I'm, let's assume it's the version 2. Uh, all black. Looks like it comes in all black and stainless. Um, I believe is your color options. Let's see. Oh, wow, no. They've got uh, stainless steel, black, purple, gold, white, copper, Tiffany blue, red, and rainbow. So, a cornucopia of color options for you. Um, and it looks like it comes with, uh, of course, some extra O-rings there. Um, and uh, some extra pre-made coils for you. Um, yeah, I mean, a bunch of options on the version 2. I'm not sure if that's what this is or not. I'm assuming I've got a version 1, but we're going to say it's a version 2. Only because I can't find a, a vendor for the version 1. Um, let me just try to actually look for version 1. Um, see what we find. Looks like BrokeVapors.com has the version 1 for under 10 bucks. Um, yeah. Yeah, under 10 bucks, they've got three color options, white, black, and uh, copper. And, uh, yeah, this is the version 1. Uh, the version 1 did not have a removable chuff cap. Um, that's what this is. Um, large diameter. Uh, I would say it would look really good on a 26650 device or maybe the Relo. Um, looks kind of silly on that Segeli. And the Segeli, to be totally honest with you, is probably a little underpowered for the build I got in this thing. Um, but there it is. It says it's got a palm drip tip. 13.3 um, millimeter is the inner, inner, internal, shit, internal diameter. 18 air holes on each side. Adjustable airflow. Uh, T-shaped center post with two positive terminals. Uh, Looks like the post material is all stainless, 510 threaded connection, copper center screw is adjustable, um, overall diameter is 28.5 millimeter, um, $9.67, uh, and the one that Broke Vapors has appears to be a clone for $10, um, and not the original. So, like I said, I don't know whether that's what this is or not. I paid 15 bucks for it at a brick and mortar. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm just showing you what I got. Uh, I didn't, 
it didn't come with packaging. It could very well be a clone because of that. Um, but it looks authentic, so I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much pretty much where it's at, I guess. Um, for anything else other than that, I, I don't know what to tell you. You can go check out the um, clone from the Vaping Bogan. Uh, you know, that crazy Irish guy. Or, uh, not Irish, but uh, Australian guy. Dude's crazy. Love that dude to death. Uh, he's got a little more in-depth uh, look on that. His device, you know, he's. I think he's putting it on a real low. It's a little bit more powerful. Uh, so there. That's what I got for you. Uh, if I lost it today, would I go out and get one? Yeah, I probably would. Um, I really like this atomizer. I, I just do. Um, I like the fact that it's big. I can put any kind of build I want in it. The uh, uh, the airflow has got to be a, a a pro. The build size has got to be a pro. Um, the only con that I can see is, as you can see, it's got the flathead screws on top. I'm not a big fan of those. Uh, I like to see either Phillips or the hex key grub nuts on that. Uh, but they work, you know what I'm saying? They work really well, so that's subjective. Um, another con I had is the O-rings on this were a little loose. That might be because it could very well be a clone. I don't know. Uh, the Authentic may not have that um, if this is indeed a clone. Um, but there again, I, I don't know for sure whether it is or isn't. But I had to put some different O-rings in this thing. And even now with beefier O-rings, as you can see, it's it's holding, but it's sketchy. I'm, I'm kind of, I wouldn't lift it up like that without my hand under it. Um, so yeah. Well, like you saw, the ramp up time is uh, a factor, but that's, I believe that's the Segeli's fault. I think it's a little underpowered for it. Uh, plus, that's a big ass build in this thing. You can put any kind of build in this thing you want. Uh, you saw it. Um, that's what I got for you guys. Um, take it or leave it. Uh, like I said, I, 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 not a whole lot of cons on this. Um, I really like it. Um, if I was to change anything about it, I put some beefier O-rings in this one, uh, put some hex screws or Phillips screws for the uh, posts, um, and that's about it. Uh, I mean, I don't have any other negatives to say. As big as this thing is, you really wouldn't want to put a 510 drip tip on it anyway, so that's not a con for me. I kind of like the chuff cap. If you don't like the chuff cap style and you want a 510 connector, this one's probably not for you, uh, but it's a cloud chasing Addy. Um, it's designed to blow big mammoth clouds. That's what it does. Um, so yeah, I would get one if I lost this one. Seems to be fairly well made, except for the barrels a little flimsy. But there again, it could be a clone. I don't know. Uh, you know, full disclosure. I don't know if this is authentic or a clone. I'm going to assume it's the authentic because I don't know anything different. So with that being said, um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Hope everybody's having a good day today. Uh, don't forget, subscribe, like, share, scroll the channel a little bit. Um, yeah, you guys, keep your shiny side up, man. They fall on, okay?